Seeing now the, the final composite makes me wonder which part really came from us, like which one was shot patayib and which one was like um, done by the CG artist. I guess it's just easy now, right? It's much, much easier and it's limitless. Everything's possible now. The general look, I think we got it. Hindi ako kinakabahan sa kanya in terms of CG. Alam ko mapupull off niya yung ano, ganito kalaking project. Ikaw nga, wagi itong project na to. <laughs> I think the fact that it started out from like a one minute film, supposedly a trailer for this fictional movie, and it evolved into a five minute film, I think that makes this you know, truly special. It's beautiful. I think it's the, the, the work done here is very solid. I think we've set a benchmark in terms of visual effects, locally at the very least. And we also want to compete internationally and, and be known for that. Because I think ev anything and everything is possible if you have the right team, the right equipment. I think it surpassed my expectations as a director. I never, never realized that we will come up with this kind of work. Initially, I had my doubts to us, how far can we bring this? Because when I showed my storyboard, you know, they, they liked it. But the thing is, I know that, you know, maybe, oh, wow, this is going to be tough. You know, um, long sleepless nights, um, long working days, I'm sure, getting the, the scenes right. But I think it paid off. The work is very beautiful and very solid. And I'm really, really proud of it. Somehow, I think it's, um prophetic how we ended up calling this Project Power. In the beginning, it was more just because of um, the treatment of, of Sid. But at the end, I think it really showcases the different strengths that we have in, in Roadrunner. We really put together a powerful team to do this from direct Sid's vision all the way to the cinematography of Leslie and, and J.A. to the production design of Jenny to the delivery of the visual effects with Dave spearheading it and the rest of the team of the Vitaville the Effects. The color correction of Mose, down to the editing of, of Mick. I think it was a great collaboration of all the different elements down to the music and the sound. The strength really of, of the video is in how we were able to collaborate and put the whole thing together. I think a lot of the times when a lot of people see it, um, and they see how powerful the video is, we tend to forget that it's really because of all the elements that we put together that we were able to deliver the project, which we thought in the beginning was too difficult to do, but I'm, I, I'm like so proud of the whole team that we were able to, to pull it off.